Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Yes, I went off for a long time again, purely because YouTube tried to give me a copyright strike, or like a, a strike which goes against. Basically, if you have three strikes, your channel gets banned, and they tried to give me one of those strikes, I appealed against it, and then they wouldn't let me upload then originally for two weeks, but I managed to appeal against it, and I got rid of the strike, and I can now upload, obviously, as this is how the video came out. But this is going to be the start of a new series I'm going to be doing here on the channel. Obviously, it's not going to be really, really long because this series is going to be where I'm going to be walking you guys through how to install LSPDFR mods, starting from rock bottom, how to install LSPDFR, Rage Plugin Token, Script Hook V, and then going all the way to the top for them complex mods that might be a little bit difficult to install. I'm going to number the episodes they're going to release in order, obviously, and then I'm going to create a playlist. And it's just going to be something really easy to follow. And I'm planning on doing something like this every single year, so we always have an update tutorial. So today we're going to be starting from the rock bottom, obviously, as it's episode 1. So we're going to be teaching you guys how to install LSPDFR, Rage Plugin Hook, and Script Hook V. So to do this, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is open up your File Explorer. And then for those of you guys on Epic Games and Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory is going to be a little different to what my GTA 5 main directory is going to be like, purely because I have it on Steam. But for those of you guys on those platforms, your GTA 5 main directory will be down in the description below and how to get to it will also be down there. So what you guys are going to want to do for Steam is go to whatever drive you installed your GTA 5 on, whatever drive your Steam is storing your games on. Go to Program Files 86, go to Steam, Steam Apps and Common and then that will be where your GTA 5 is. But mine isn't there, mine is actually in a different volume which is right here. And then what you guys are going to want to do is get your GTA 5 folder, which will look something like this. Obviously, you'll only have one, not two like I have, but you'll have one, and it'll look exactly like this. We're not going to have to mod this. We're not going to be modding this one right now because we are going to make two copies like I have already done. So what you guys are going to want to do is right-click on your GTA 5 copy, click Copy, and then Control v That's going to start copying that whole GTA 5 folder. It may take a little longer than, you know, than you than you would want but it's going to take about 15 minutes half an hour depending on your speed if you're using an ssd which i don't have my gta 5 on ssd unfortunately because uh, i just don't want my gta 5 on ssd because it'll take up a lot of room and i have other games that would just be better off on an ssd so it might take half an hour you know 12 minutes or so but once that's done i'm going to hop back in and show you guys what else we need to do so after your gta 5 is finished copying what you guys are going to want to do is open up the copy of GTA 5 and you're going to want to right click and then new and then folder name this folder mods like that then what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to grab x64 and update so hold control and left click on both of these then control c go into your mods folder and control v now, unfortunately we are going to have to do a little bit more of loading this shouldn't be as long this should only take about seven minutes as it says here so what I'm going to do yet again is cut back to once it's finished installing. And then after that, there is no more downloading or, you know, uploading or copying anything over. We can get straight in to adding LSPDFR to your game. So after this has finished copying over, the next thing you guys are going to want to do is open up your Opera or whatever you're using. See Chrome, whatever your internet. And then what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to click the first handle link down in the description below. And that's going to bring you guys right here to the LSPDFR page and once you're on this what you guys are going to want to do is head over to the LSPDFR section right here and click download LSPDFR now up until recently we would have had to install uh, something else with LSPDFR which would have been Rage Plugin Hook but nowadays we just install it with LSPDFR because it comes with it and for some reason it only comes with LSPDFR now it doesn't actually update it on the website which is kind of disappointing because you kind of can't have a non LSPDFR game, but what you guys are going to want to do is head down here and click download this file. You can read through this agreement if you want, it's nothing crazy. Click agree and download, and then make sure you're installing the manual install.zip. Hit download, and then click here to make it start downloading instantly. And then it's going to start installing. It shouldn't really take that long. LSPDFR, the main thing, isn't actually really that big. You think it'd be big, but it's not. So once that has finished installing, what you guys are going to want to do is open it up. Obviously, if you guys do not have something that can open zip files, I would recommend installing them, either WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip. Those are your options. And then what you guys are going to want to do is keep this open and then go and open a new tab and search ScriptHookV or click the link down in the description below. That might 
also work, but search script took V, and then it's going to bring guys right here. Hit GTA V, and then select script hook V. Go down to download and hit download on the latest version. That's going to be your other file. And then the last thing we're going to install is going to be menu. So click the next download link down in the description below. And that will bring you guys right here to a menu, which is a trainer mod. And install this. All you guys want to do is hit download. It's going to bring you to GitHub and click download latest release. And also open that up. So now we have everything ready to install. So you can close your internet explorer or whatever the hell you're using. And then what you guys are going to want to do is first of all install your LSPDFR. So to do this, go back to your GTA 5 copy. And grab all of this. You can select all of it if you want. But we are going to have to deselect some of the things before we put them in. If I extend it here so I can actually select things that would make life a little bit easier. But what you guys are going to want to do is hold control and left click on licenses and just drag and drop it into your game like that. And then that's going to move it into your game like it should do with pretty much every other file. And then as this is copying over, what you guys can do is you can bring up the next download which is going to be script hook V. Now you can close LSPFR which is copied over. Bring up script hook V, double click on bin, grab all of these, control and left click native trainer since we're not going to be using that trainer today and drag and drop it in. Now for the last thing, all you guys are going to want to do is grab both of these files, hold control and left click on both of these files and drag and drop it into your game like that. And now to run the game. So we are ready to get it running. I'm going to have to quickly rename this. So will you guys, since your clean copy of GTA 5 will be called Grand Theft Auto V. So change that name to clean or for me this is already modded. So I'm going to change this to LSPDFR USA. Grab your modded copy and just change that to Grand Theft Auto V because it will not run and it will not launch a correct GT5 folder if it's not called just Grand Theft Auto V and calling it these will stop it from launching these altogether. Then what you guys are going to want to do is double click on Rage Plugin Hook. Before we do this, I am going to recommend doing this. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it's probably going to solve a couple of issues. Head over to your Windows virus and threat protection settings, whatever you're using. And then turn off manage and threat protection settings. Turn off the real time protection. And yes, and once you finish playing, let me make my screen go back. There you go. It only went black because I had to go into an admin page. So hit yes. But basically, that's going to stop it from blocking GTA 5 because it's basically hooking onto your game. And it kind of thinks that it's a virus, but it's not. Do not worry. I've used this for ages, like literally years. I've never got a virus in my life. So what you guys are going to want to do is head over here, double click on racepluginhook.exe. And then it should start launching Rage Plugin Hook. It's going to give you a little disclaimer. You can read through this if you want. And then what you guys are going to want to do is hit accept. It's going to start your first time initialization. Initialization. English is great. And then basically it's going to ask you if you want to make a backup. Don't try to skip this to make things a little bit faster. Definitely hit yes because this is really useful when GTA 5 updates. It's going to start creating you a backup of your game. And then once it has done that, it's going to start storing it. And then it should say all done. And then it should boot up in a couple of seconds into a, another Rage plugin hook window. So if we give it a couple of seconds, it should pop up like that. What you guys are going to want to do is the first thing is change a couple of settings. But actually one or two is delete the one, put 60,000, which is giving your plugins longer to load before it terminates your GTA 5. And that is the max you can have it load. And then what you guys are going to want to do is go to plugins and load all these plugins on startup and just check all and then go back to load all plugins on startup. And then simply, if I close my Spotify quickly, is uh, click save and launch, click OK. And then it should start launching your GTA 5 like so. It's going to launch it via Steam or your Epic Games, whatever you're using, it'll automatically detect it. Because obviously it's in your download folder. And there you go. It should start loading you into GTA 5. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in game. I'm going to cut back to once we're actually in game. And I can show you guys where to go into your pause settings. You should see a little new LSPDFR tab. Very exciting. Go down to the character option. And then hit go to nearest police station. That shall bring you obviously to the nearest police station. Which if you're spawning in as Franklin. It's going to bring you guys right here. Or you know Michael it should probably going to bring you to uh, this station right here but either way anything will work 
hit right on D-pad or I believe E if you're using a uh, keyboard. If you're not, if you aren't, if you're not using keyboard and you have the option to use controller on this video far, I definitely recommend using controller. It makes life a little bit easier when driving and it makes it a little bit more enjoyable and immersive to me. But once you're in, hit go on duty. Obviously, you're not going to be able to go on duty as uh, Franklin or Michael or anyone like that. What you guys are going to want to do is they're going to ask you to make a new LSPFR character, hit OK, and it's going to bring you something that's very familiar to creating a GTA 5 online character. And once you guys have loaded in, all you guys are going to want to do is uh, I normally just like to flick through these back and forth until I get something that looks kind of what I want. And then I'll change them around, so I'll flick back and forth. So that I get something, it just makes life a little bit easier. I'm not going to be too bothered about what I get here. This guy will do. And then I'm going to... I normally just... Quickly, I just set everything to standard. And then... Uh, because it just looks the best. And then sometimes I'll change some things around. But for now, I'm going to set everything to standard. Obviously, you guys can go through and uh, set everything yourself. I'm going to change his hair to... Uh, and if it does that... Uh, sometimes it's extremely annoying if you scroll through it's a new glitch basically you're just gonna have to select a new character quickly I'm just gonna go for this guy uh, someone looks semi-decent the, the, I, don't, I don't know I can't find anyone now or oh, go for this guy he'll do but if it does glitch out and it doesn't let you select any hair anymore I just recommend going a little slower and you just have to reload your character for some reason it's a new glitch that has uh, been happening as of recently but it should be sorted in the next LSPDF4 update, or you know, it might just be a bug forever. But if it is, that is how you fix it. Just go back and forth. You don't need to reload the game or anything. That'll do for me. Save and continue. I'm going to just call myself Highway Trooper. There you go. Hit use. And then it shall load you in to the station. Loading Beaver Bush or Ranger Station or wherever you are, wherever you spawned. And then all you guys are going to want to do is go into your police locker. You can put your LSPD outfit on or wherever you are spawning in as. We're going to go for uh, our senior officer. And you can go for your inventory. I'm going to go for a patrol stun. Obviously, you have to save it. Actually, hit confirm. There you go. Officer 3. And then patrol with Daza. And then confirm. And then go to police garage. Here's where you can get your cars. And in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the cars. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to change the cars. And then I'm going to show you guys how to install ELS. And after that video, I'm going to show you guys how to install some basic plugins and things like that. If you guys want me to do something else, let me know what else you guys want me to see. But I will keep going and show you guys how to install more and more advanced mods, which make LSPDFR more and more enjoyable. So make sure you guys do stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, like the video, dislike the video if you didn't find it useful, comment down below how you find it useful, what you want to see more of, so you guys can stick around for this series if you are new to LSPDFR. What you guys then are going to want to do though, is select the police car you want. I'm going to go for this one right here. Obviously there's something really cool is you can select the uh, the noose vehicles which are cool. The unmarked buffalo is a very cool vehicle. I'm going to go for that one actually. You can go through the components, you can add on extras and things like that. And you can add on different modifications. But I'm just going to hit select and continue. And then it's going to bring you outside of the police station like this. You can turn on your lights and sirens and everything like that. And if you go into your police interaction menu by holding down on the two squared button. I go to police radio. Here you can make it where you're not available for calls and you are. You can request a call out. You can accept a call out by hitting left on D-pad or Y or Z I believe. And then here you can also change your emergency signals to just being on with no lights. On with a siren or just off altogether. You can also turn your police car radio off. Which makes it so when you spawn in you don't get any copyrighted music which is nice. And then obviously through here you can equip your ballistic shield and things like that, which is our, which are really really cool. And you equip the ballistic shield like that. It's really cool. I love using this. And you can also uh, remove it if it's coarse. And you can also place evidence markers, which is really cool. But you can also go through and change your character spawning, your dialogue, your play and mood, and a bunch of other stuff. And to request backup, you hit right on, uh, you hit the right stick on a controller. 
and then you can change the different codes of transport to uh, a, you know bring in a prisoner transport for somebody just arrested code two for you know kind of like a less serious uh, call out that you request backup for and then code three for you know if you get shot out you really need backup quickly but that is going to be drawing the end to this video. If you guys haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so. Like, please, please, please be sure to do so. You can always unsubscribe later. I'm going to pick up this evidence cone. Because why not? You can, guys can always unsubscribe later if you want to. But please subscribe. It takes five seconds. And, you know, I really want to hit 3K or 4K by the end of this year. And it isn't really that far away. So please be sure to subscribe. Help me out and stay tuned for the rest of the episodes that are going to be coming on this channel but other than that thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see all of you guys in the next video so cheers and goodbye